Pete, I'm sorry that you're getting, unfortunately, the uh, dregs of society in regards to uh, how well off they might be. Unfortunately, I think every one of us eventually meets up with people like that in our lines of work. Uh, myself, I do customer service, but I'm behind the phone, so I don't really get to deal with people that um, have any complaints about paying a bill. Mind you, I do have people that, uh, because of the type of transportation that we do, we do cross-border imports, and when the goods are being brought into Canada, there's usually duties, taxes, or brokerage fees that need to be paid to the in-house brokerage firm that cleared it automatically by law. The unfortunate downside to that is that not many people actually take the time to actually go and do their research. At the very least, courtesy is still number one in anything that one should be partaking, be it me as a client towards you or you a client towards me. Uh, if you find it inexpensive, uh, you can say a positive comment about it. If you find it expensive, you can simply politely decline and say, uh, I'm sorry, Pete, I do find it a tad expensive. Uh, if you'll allow me at least a day to go shop around, I'll go see what I can find. And if I can't find any better, definitely I will come to you and I'll ask you to look at my computer. Um, $65 is actually a pretty sweet deal. Of course, I don't know how many, how much hours or how many hours you're actually booking for that. If it's only for 30-minute increments or one-hour increments, uh, an Apple certified technician, when I was actually getting some issues fixed with my, one of my old computers, charged me. I think it was 75 bucks, and he didn't even do an hour's work. Now, at the time, I was a student, and I wasn't very uh, open to paying that much money for something that I found that would cost me a lot less. Granted, it's a certified technician, but still, does it mean that if, uh, if if you're about to lop off my leg, that I still have to actually accept it and actually swallow my pride and say, N okay, I'll, I'll purchase it? I've had issues where I was the one investing in repairs on the vehicle or investing in a car or investing in a house, and I had to negotiate my way around into paying a bill that wasn't too much. And that's my mom, Pete, in case you're wondering. They're here home visiting, and they're a retired couple, uh, retired from teaching. So they know what to do with their money. They also know that they're not going to pay an arm and leg if they can avoid it, and they'll pay what they that what they really want to pay. So anyways, with that said, have a nice one.